What's up, guys? Uh, today I'm talking about PVCs. I've been wanting to talk about this, you know, quite some time. Now, uh, there are some expensive, fifty bucks, uh, hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, whatever expensive to you. Uh, there are some cheap ones, you know, for twenty bucks or whatever. Um, now, before we get into actually buying PVCs, uh, let's talk about uh, why should you or should you buy any PVCs? The first thing I have to say, you know, some people always talk about money is the biggest issue. But it really is the room because if you keep buying PVCs, yeah, they're gonna cost a lot of money. But do you have enough room in your house? Where the hell are you gonna put them at? You know, I've haven't been buying too many myself because I'm running out of room in my house. I don't actually have that many. I think I have about maybe let's see, let's see two, three, four, five, six, maybe about seven, eight PVCs. Um, so they they start crowding up and then you start running out of room and um. If you throw, you don't want to throw away the box. The box sometimes can can actually add value to the, uh, the actual PVC figure. So uh, keeping the box in good condition is another thing as well. But it's all about room. You know, don't buy some PVCs if you can't put them nowhere. Because I mean, you 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 wouldn't want to buy like you know a hundred something big ass fucking statues and have them all your goddamn lawn. You know, you, you got to be reasonable. It just it looks so cluttered up and just horrible. Um, the second thing is money. Money you know, is some people say money is the most biggest issue, but you know I think in my opinion money is the second biggest issue. Um, what kind of PVC figures do you want to buy? Now, uh, do don't spend you know hundreds and hundreds of dollars buying PVC figures because that's just gonna add up. You know it's just way too much money. When you're you're when you're spending thousands of dollars on PVCs like this, you know that 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 is just you know a bad mistake. Losing way too much money. So, uh, if you don't have a good paying job, you know, don't go out of your way to buy a figure, you know. Either get a better job or just don't buy one at all. Uh, the third thing is what kind of PC figures do you want to buy? Uh, don't buy any figures. You're going to be embarrassed to show around. Uh, like you see, Makoto got a lot of underboo going on. Um, if you're going to buy, you know, uh, actually, say a perverted figure, you know, don't buy it. They got some worse, some bikinis and just in the. Uh, Ludicrous positions and stuff. Uh, some naked. Uh, as here, you know, I I, I bought this character, I the character design. You know, I actually didn't find out this is actually a a, a hentai character. So yeah. So, um, but there are some PVC figures that are just really perverted. Actually, don't, the only one I got actually really perverted, as you can think of, is to be honest, you know, Makoto. That's the only one I really have. I don't like buying these per perverted figures. They just don't look right. Um, regardless, you know. Don't buy something you're not going to show around because if you're going to buy a PC figure and put it in your closet because you're too afraid of somebody seeing it, you know, that's the whole point of a, a PVC anyways, you, to look at, you know, it's a statue. I mean, you don't, so I don't buy a fucking statue and put it in a goddamn yard and, and hide it. Think about it, you know, they got statues of little kids and boys taking a piss in a water fountain that ding along hanging out and shit, you know, it's, it's fucking art, whatever you want to slice it, you know, uh, you got naked chicks and shit, so... Whatever you want to do about it. Um, that's that's my opinion. The, the three biggest reasons. Now uh, let's talk about you know the kinds of PVC, like the price values and stuff. You know, and why should you buy any? All right. Well, if you're buying PVCs, more likely you're buying either. I think it's two or three reasons. I say one, you're collecting them. You know, like your favorite characters. Like Makoto is my favorite character from the Blaze We Fighting Game series. Uh, Songo, uh, we have right here. Uh, is one of my favorite characters from Inyasha, and so is Kagome, um, and a few others. And then sometimes I just like the character design, uh, like you know, this hentai figure. Um, then you got some that just you know you sell for profit wise. Like hey, you see Kagome back here. Uh, that's actually a, a cheap figure when it first came out. I think it was selling for like maybe 18, 25 bucks or so. I have bought it about a couple of years after for fifty dollars. Now I figure some for two hundred and fifty bucks, sometimes three hundred, you know, on eBay. Sometimes you might get it a couple, maybe about fifty bucks cheaper. So, so. And Makoto, uh, I bought her this year, and I believe it was actually it was last year in October. You know, so it's coming almost to a full year, and I paid eighty bucks just for her, and now she's selling for two hundred fifty bucks, roughly around that price size. So, sometimes you can buy, you know, a, a cheap figure like Kagome. And a few years down the road, they're worth a lot of money. And then sometimes you can buy, you know, a figure that's a little bit more expensive and worth a lot more money. Now, let's take, you know, as I showed you guys before, Tia Hollerville over here. She, on the other hand, 
is not worth jack shit in my opinion. I, I bought her thinking that hey, she might you know be worth some kind of money down the road, but no, she, she ain't. Um, she's only selling for about maybe a hundred, five hundred, ten bucks. That's the same price when I bought her as. I thought she would because she came out with these changeable pieces, um, but it's not. It, sometimes it depends on how popular that character it is, how old the figure is, and sometimes it does depend on fan service. You know, like uh, Makoto or Nail. Nail is selling for about three hundred, four hundred something dollars, depending on where you go to. Um, sometimes two hundred bucks if you're lucky. You know, um, so it, it it comes down to how old the figure is, how rare it is, what does it look like, and the popular of the character. So. It, it, the price value can always change, but sometimes people will sell figures for two hundred, three hundred dollars, and they're not selling. So if they're not selling, they're not really worth that amount of money. People don't want to sell them for you know under price. Um, for example, Songo, uh, I've seen it on eBay plenty of times for uh, about a uh, hundred bucks or so. You know, um, she's really hard to come by, and I managed to find it on Amazon for fifty bucks, surprisingly. Um, so real good, real good find. Kagome on the hand now she's uh being sold for two hundred fifty dollars and she uh you know is selling about two hundred fifty bucks. I, I looked the last time somebody sold her as about two twenty. So sometimes a two fifty and three hundred dollar price probably could be overpriced. Um, but she's still selling for at least two hundred bucks. You know, so it, it it comes down to the right collector. There there are a lot of things to consider in the price and how much value is. Now you've seen, I think a few channels like uh, Mega Man and For Neverworld. They actually bought a few PVCs. Now sometimes these are actually more like cheaper PVCs. You know, these kind of PVCs you can actually buy with you know a decent job. You know, um, now does that mean they're cheap figures? N no, not necessarily. They actually can look you know detailed and stuff. Um, and those PVCs can actually jump up the, the biggest price. Like uh, what was it? Uh, Kagome figure as, as I was showing earlier. Uh, when I went back, actually, being sold for twenty bucks. Now, within a few years down the road, she jumps to two hundred fifty bucks. You know, two hundred dollars. Um, and I got a few for uh, Nami, you know, Luffy, uh, Zoro, sell for ten, twenty something dollars, whatever. More for the money now. So sometimes, you know, the, the actual price when PVC first came out doesn't actually matter. Um, it just depends on time and how rare the fare becomes. Now, uh, when I uh, say about PVCs, now the two reasons you want to buy them is you know uh, sell them or just collect them. Uh, collect them just seems pretty obvious. You know, you're gonna buy a figure that you uh, see them in the TV series, uh, whatever, and, and games. Now, selling them wise, uh, it depends. You're not gonna make a huge profit off of them. Um, you know, selling them like a like a retail store does. You know, that's the the best way to sell. It. You know, you sell it in bulk. But that involves getting a store and you know, all the shit. I have to pre-order the pieces. Now, actually buying the figures and hold them off for a while, that's actually another way that should make money. But you're not going to make money overnight. So it's going to take a while sometimes. Uh, like I said, sometimes figures, you know, price value will not increase not one bit. And sometimes they will. So it's kind of chance. So if you're trying to sell these figures for price value, don't expect anything back overnight. It's going, you know, sometimes it can be a couple of years, you know, a couple of months later on the road. Um, now, uh, there are just there are a lot of PCs out there. Uh, now, some of these PCs can actually remove the tops, like uh, Makoto can. Uh, I'm not going to because uh, people actually say that if you actually remove some of these figures' uh, clothing, a lot of times they actually have problems. Same thing uh, for some of these. Like her. Now, I actually bought her used. Uh, a guy on the phone needed some money real bad, and he said, "Hey man, I'll sell you this figure." And I said, All right, "Okay, that's pretty cool." So I bought it from her, well, from him, and I'm actually got looking at her at, on her tail. Uh, the guy actually, uh, um, she took like, a rip on, I guess you know where her ass is basically. Uh, it's slightly tore. The you can actually see the wire for her tail, and you also can see a few inconsistencies with his PVC. Like her hair, the paint is actually coming on to a close. She's not in horrible condition. She's you know still fairly good, but it's a used PVC. Uh, another thing too about used PVC, sometimes that can affect the value as well. Sometimes not. It depends how how good of the quality of the box is and the character. If the character is still in good condition, open it up. 
like McCuff there. She, Erica could open it one time, put it back in the box. I'm, again, usually she's always in the box. I don't have a glass case. I wouldn't mind buying one, put them in there. But a lot of times I just don't open my figure. Like Tia Hollabill is is it remain closed, and so is that bastard Archer's name figure up here too, from uh, the Bastard series. She is still in a box, hasn't opened up, and neither has uh, Songo Kagome. The box was already opened up, but not the packaging containing her inside is still closed. So it depends. Um, but as I said there are perverted figures. There are some that get butt ass naked, and some always butt ass naked too. So if you want to buy a figure with nipples hanging out, you know, that's on you, you know. Um, but these, these things can be really expensive, you know. If you want to buy them for collecting purposes, go ahead, but don't buy too many of them. There's just no sense. Like, uh, I got a uh, a figure of uh, Yoko Littner. Now, if you like her from the series, Girl and Ligon, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do. You know, um, but there are so many reprints and different versions of Yoko. You, you know, if you were to sit there and buy every single one, you, you will spend thousands of dollars. So, settle for me one or two of the same characters, you know, different versions. Don't don't go on a fucking Spanish spree and, and buying like, you know, every fucking Yoko Littner you gotta have. That's just you know, stupid. Um, if, if you got the money for it, go ahead, man. If you got a really pay, good paying job, go go ahead. You know, more money to you. I should say less. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh. I'm also talking about a few things later on, like hero clicks and stuff. It's a game I've been playing a lot lately. Haven't really been too busy uh, doing. I was supposed to have you guys three game review out, but I kind of say fuck that. You know, it just the game sucks ass. I did say it before another video. Um, it's not as horrible, but it still sucks ass. Um, so, uh, also uh, give me a like if you like this video. Also post your comments below. Do you have any PVCs? And if you do, which ones? Which ones do you like? You know, uh, do you actually buy them? I know. Why do you buy them? You know, maybe you have some more reasons. Uh, see you guys later.